Hey, Dark Bike TV here. We, well, I, just me, rode Moto today. And you're gonna see some more footage after this of my little, my day starting. And I woke up at 6.30 to go motocross riding because the track that's closest to us is uh, Jordan River Cycle Park, OHV Cycle Park. And they're usually open as late as they can be until they really get snow and too much water that sticks and they can't ride. It was a lot of fun. I was surprised. I was skeptical going into it. I was just like, eh, it's probably not going to be the best. It was really fun. I really enjoyed it. Like I didn't have an extra number plate and I didn't even take off the, the license plate. And it was, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, here's some footage. And this is, this is, keep in mind, this is my first time riding this track um, today. So when you're new to a track, definitely just be safe um, and have fun, especially when you're learning the track because uh, motocross tracks that are new to you can get you really fast. Even tracks that aren't new to you, if you get too comfortable on them, can get you really fast. So just be careful with that and have fun. And so check out this footage. I was riding this bike, Beauty. Um, this is like my all around bike. I ride it on the on the road, on the trails, and on the track now. And we're usually trail dudes only up here in Utah, but we got some nice rain. They prepped it really nice, deep ruts, didn't get too rough, and it stayed wet because it was a little bit overcast like this. So it was a lot of fun. So see you, check it out. All right, it is 7.45 or so. And I'm leaving for Jordan River right now. Bike's loaded up. Um, we're rocking some more off-road setup today. I didn't have the front of the plate, so we still got the headlight on there. Um, it's gonna be a fun day. Okay, just got out of here. It was a good drive. Um, track looks fun. Some big jumps, so that looks good. See how it is. We're the second ones in line, so. Once it opens, we'll get in there. All right. We're out here at Jordan, West Jordan Valley, a river uh, cycle park. It's deep today. It's really good, actually. I was surprised, pleasantly surprised when I got here. Saw how deep the track was. I knew it was gonna be pretty good. And uh, yeah, gonna take you on a couple laps around here. It's a lot similar to um, Milestone or Paris or Lake Elsinore type tracks. It's uh, close to that type of track. There's a lot of guys out right now, I'll let them all go ahead. I don't want to get caught in a pack. Um, everyone kind of seems to be having a lot of fun on the track. It's got like a mulch mixed in, almost. So, that's definitely a unique aspect.
that's a wrap. Um, it was pretty cool. <laughs> As you can tell from the GoPro, uh, it was a little bit crowded when I went out there, but there's a lot of um, mixed skill ranges riding, which is good. And there's a lot of cool lines and it's really deep right now because we just got some rain recently. And I would say that if you're in the area where you want to stop by, maybe make sure that they're going to prep it. Uh, obviously we're going into winter here and they're not going to be open for quite some time. And we're getting more rain next week. So most likely this is going to be like the last weekend, probably. I would assume that they're going to be open, unfortunately. But it's still a heck of a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. The bike was great. Um, there was only one jump that I struggled a little bit to make. I think it was like my third or fourth lap that I finally was clearing all the jumps. And this is my first time out here. So I, a lot of dudes would say that's really good. But it's just a matter of taking it easy. And then also having previous practice doing jumps and tracks like Kawea or Milestone or Lake Elsinore that have a decent amount of jumps, they get you ready to be able to ride a track like this that has a good amount of jumps. Uh, I don't know exactly how many. Um, I would say in like maybe the teens, the high teens range as far as how many jumps there are. Uh, but it's a, it's a fun track. I really enjoyed it. Some ruts came in good and honestly, um, before we were always thinking that there's like zero as far as riding out here goes, but I would say this is like a good track. Like I would not, I would not shy away from riding this track as far as like if I had a buddy or a bike in the right situation like this weekend was. We had gotten rain this past week. Um, I knew they were going to prep it. There's only one track open. I, I, there was, there's not that many people really out here, but it's super fun. And so yeah, Jordan River Cycle Park, um, riding the KTM 2018, our, our uh, mixed bike here. It's, it's a 366 XCF and really fun. I put an MX-11 on the back and then a 33 on the front. And the track's like a mulchy. It's got mulch mixed in with the dirt, which honestly, for tracks that aren't terribly rough, or don't get watered, I'd say is good. Uh, obviously not as good as sand, <coughs> but mulch is a nice substitute for when you don't have sand to put in and you don't want to spend a ton of time watering the track because the mulch keeps it thinking that it's wet and it holds in the moisture really well. So it did, the track's still good. It's, we've been riding for, I've gotten like an hour of seat time today, a little bit more, and a lot of fun. Really enjoyed this bike and this track, and catch you next time. See you on the track trail soon.
it was people like that. Whatever. So yeah, the track's pretty fun. Um, a little bit crowded there, but you get an idea for how the track's fun to ride, and it's pretty flowy. Jumps are built decent, so check it out. 